हे व्हाट्सअप गाइज दिस इज सोहन एंड यू आर वॉचिंग यूअर टेक्निकल स्पार्क चैनल फ्रेंड्स यू मस्ट हैव गॉट द आइडिया बाय चेकिंग आउट द थम नेल दैट फ्रॉम टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स आई विल बी स्टार्टिंग न्यू सीरीज दैट इज ऑन द सिक्वल क्लस्टर और यू कैन से फेल ओवर क्लस्टर बिकॉज यू नो अर्लियर वॉट एपन्स व्हाट एवर द सीरीज आई हैव टीच यू इन ऑल द एप्लीकेशन विच आई हैव डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटेड दे आर गोइंग टू कनेक्ट टू द सिंगल डेटा बेस सर्वर ओके बट वॉट इफ डेटा बेस गेट्स फेल then my entire production environment will be down right so it will be huge downtime for me and there could be p1 incident will be raised or you know war room gets open because all your application will stop functioning so that's the reason configuring your sql server or you can say your database into the cluster is always be a good idea also it will increase little bit of you know costing for your hardware uh, as well as your windows license but if you want to run your system smoothly then these things are required and in this series i am going to demonstrate from the scratch that how exactly you can configure your sql server into the cluster as always i'll make things simple so that if you are doing the same thing into your production env environment or at your home lab you will be able to perform these steps just by following our videos and as i said cluster is very important to make sure your business runs smoothly because when you configure multiple servers into your cluster environment for the database uh, it makes sure that your system you know always up and running as expected okay as well as the you know it which eliminates the availability issue and if anything goes wrong with any of the server then recovery process is always easy and since you have multiple server the performance is always been a better so that you know you will be able to perform all the critical tasks without worrying about the load also you just have to make sure that your resources are properly aligned i mean hardware resources but yeah this is one of the fact and as and when you want to you know scale your environment you will be able to do that when you are you have you know servers in cluster because at a time you can first you can work on the primary uh, node and then secondary node right so whenever any one server is down still your application will be working fine and very important thing guys i would like to let you know that when you configure your sql server into the active passive mode then you know only one sql server license will be utilized you can say cal right because at a time only one server will be functioning which is active server so this is how you will be able to save your money on the costing or licensing all through you have the options how exactly you would like to configure your sql server whether it's active passive or active active but majority of the you know cases i have seen if the application is not very very critical or required you know lots of things apart from those people you know other application can be run on active passive like your antivirus servers right dlp servers so those can be run on the active passive and the another thing is you have to be concerned about the iops so whenever you are configuring your database so that particular you know uh, your application for which you are configuring the your sql database or cluster how much iops are required for that application so you just have to you know calculate these things with the application vendor side okay but that's not a part here uh, we'll just focus in this entire series and on how to configure your sql server into the cluster in active passive so hopefully guys this much of introduction is enough to you know kick start with our this particular series and if in case if you are new and watching this videos for the very first time and if you you know find this contents are useful then hit on the like button and click on the subscribe button and don't forget to press on the bell icon so that as and when i'll upload new videos you will get notified and for early access of videos you can become a member of the channel so that's it in this video this is so and signing out i'll catch you in the next video till then bye bye